Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris Hip and Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play Be Good or Be Gone by Fionn Regan. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. For this one, we've got a capo on the first fret. We're in standard tuning, and it's a really lovely, very enjoyable song to play. Uh, perfect if you're around the intermediate stage of your, of your playing. So anyway, first off, let's go over the chords. We'll learn the intro, which is exactly the same as the verse first. So you're going to start just on a... The, the chord's in the most basic form. You've got a G chord, a B minor, A minor, and then a... A D7. Okay, so that's what's going on, even though you know I'm referring to them if there was no capo on. So this is a, you know, it's an A flat, but I'm going to call it a G chord. So holding down that, what you want to do is on the low E string, you want to hold down the third fret, and then on the B string, you want to also hold down the third fret. That's all you really need. So I use my second finger and my third finger. So start by playing the low E string with the bass. And then you're going to play the D string and the, the B string. Third fret on the B and open D. Okay, so like that. Then back to the to the low E string third fret. And then open G. And then open D. So, so your thumb is alternating um, on the G chord between the E string and the D string the whole time. So that's the first bar, and then what you want to do is you're going to play the low E string third fret with the fourth fret on the G string, okay? So together like that. Then you're going to play the D string with the thumb, and then you want to play the second fret on the G. So like that. So so far. Then you're going to play the bass note again, low E string, third fret, and then open G, open D, and then the B string, third fret. So that's what's going on on the G chord. So let's play that again. That's it. Okay, so that's the G, and then goes to a B minor chord, but all you really need, you don't have the bar, you're just going to hold down the 2nd fret on the A string, and then the 4th fret on the D, open G, and then the 3rd fret on the B string, and then you're also going to have a open high E in there. Okay, so that's what's going on on the B minor chord. So with that held down, play that A string, and then the D string and the B string together. So, and then the A string, then the G, which will be open, then the D string again, so. So this time your thumb holding down that chord is alternating between the A string and the D string. So we've played. Once you get to there, then play the A string with the open high E. Okay, then you're gonna play the D string, then the B string, then the A string, the G, the D, and then this time, open B. So the second half of the B minor chord. Just lift off that second finger and play open B for the very last note. So all together on the B minor chord. Okay, so you're halfway there with the intro slash verse. So let's put that all together, what we've covered so far. speed then 
then that goes down to an A minor chord. So holding down an A minor chord, you're going to play the open A string, and then going to play the D and the B string together. And just like on the B minor chord, your thumb is still alternating between the A string and the D string. So on the A minor chord, we play the A string and then the D and the B together. Then go back and play the A string, the G, and then the D. So. Okay, and then take your pinky, let's make it an A minor 7, let's put it on the 3rd fret of the high E string. Okay, with that held down, play the A and the high E together. And then, what I do is I drop my thumb right down and I'll play the G string, of course the 2nd fret, and then open high E, and then the D string, and then the B string with the 1st fret, 1st finger sorry, and then the G, I'll play with my thumb, and then open high E. So, the second half of the A minor. Okay, so the whole of the A minor. Okay, and then to a D7. So holding down a D7 chord, you're going to play the open D string and then you're going to play the second fret on the G and the high E together and then back to the open D and then first fret on the B string and then back to the G string second fret so we're going to do D7 so. and then you're going to make it a D7 sus4 so you want to put your little finger on the third fret of the high E again play the D string and then that the third fret on the high E followed by the G string 2nd fret, then lift off your pinky back to just a regular D7 and play the 2nd fret on the high E, so you've gone. Okay, and then open D, open high E this time, and then G string, which will still be on the 2nd fret, pluck that and pull off to open. Okay, so just that 2nd half of the D7, And then the whole of the D7. Okay, so let me play all of that for you from the G. That's pretty much it. The only difference I can hear on the track is that all goes round again for the intro, and um, the only difference is on that D7. He does a little pull off. That's the only difference. So instead of just playing the D7 sus4, the third fret, instead of playing that, he'll play such a minor detail. You know, whether you want to put it in or not, it doesn't really matter too much. But on that very last part, the very last bar of the D7, second time through the before the verse begins, which is exactly the same as the intro, you'll hear on the recording, you play the open D string with the second fret on the high E together, hammer your pinky onto the third fret of the high E, and then the rest is exactly the same. So, so there's the G string second, high E second, open D, open high E, G string second, pull off, and then you're into the verse. Okay? So, such a tiny difference, but that is the intro and the verse to Be Good or Be Gone. Now, there is another section to the song if you want to learn how to play that, that is available if you're watching this on YouTube on the website. So, just follow the links through and you'll get the rest of the lesson right away. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com where you can get the remainder of this lesson and loads more finger stuck guitar lessons.